Archery season has been going well. Um, we have been on the ice for a week, a little over a week now, and the team's working hard. We're really hoping that as the season goes along, we'll be able to build some chemistry on the ice, and they certainly have tons of chemistry off the ice, so I'm excited to see as the year progresses and we get more opportunities to practice and keep working hard to get better every day, and um, it, I think we've had a, a good start to the preseason and want to keep building off of that. Goals for the season? Um, I mean, we have a few. We want to be over 500. We'd really love to be as competitive as we can be within our new conference, within the MAC. Um, not many schools are in two conferences, so we want to do our best to be competitive and, again, just put in the hard work it takes every single day to get better every single day. Um, I think when it comes down to goals for the season, we're trying to focus on process goals. And you know, those are more outcome, I suppose you could say bigger picture goals, uh, but we try to break it down in terms of every game, focusing on what we can control and what we can do in order to live up to our potential and play to our level of hockey. These seniors have seen a lot within this program. You know, we're only going into our sixth year, so they've been around for pretty much most of it. And especially some of the recent success we were able to see. You know, they were on the team when we won our conference championship. Um, they were there when we won the Codfish Bowl for the first time. Um, you know, some big wins for our program. So they've they've seen and been through a lot, and I'm excited about the pride that they have taken in the legacy that they want to leave behind. We spent a, a lot of time talking with them about what they want that legacy to be. And I think ultimately at the end of the day, they want to leave the jersey in a better spot than when they first put it on. And I really truly believe that they will. We are playing very competitive teams this year and, and even out of conference. We're excited to go and you know right out of the gate we're, we're playing some top 10 teams, some top five teams, and uh, will give us a good indication super early on where we stand and what we need to work on then. But certainly within our conference, we're really looking forward to not only that increase in strength of schedule, but what it means for us geographically and long term. I think for us, you know, it's always special to play at home. We have gone through a couple seasons where we're very road heavy and we've had to be traveling. So I think being able to play at home, being able to play in front of our fans, getting to the athletes themselves, getting to sleep in their own bed, there's something to be said about that. And it's just a different type of routine and you have this mindset of wanting to defend that house. I think something that I just am very proud of the team for is the pride that they have taken in giving back, in working hard in the classroom, in what it means to be a Stevenson women's ice hockey player. They've really taken a lot of ownership in what that culture is and what they want to be a part of and being a part of something bigger than themselves. And a part of, part of that is they do a ton of volunteering to give back to the community. And I think I'm just super proud of the people that we have on our team. And um, that's not something that's measured on a stat sheet, but that's something that's really special to me and um, very much have an appreciation for this group and our senior class and um, just make the most of this season. We're looking forward to it.